All crocodiles are dangerous to one degree or another, but which ones are particularly dangerous? Which ones take the lives of many people every year and are considered real serial killers? Which ones have to be captured by whole squads of people? And which ones are considered living legends? You'll learn about this, and not only in this episode, about the world's main toothy creatures. Let's go! There are quite a few crocodiles in the world, but which ones are the most dangerous? Obviously, the ones that are the largest and that take the most human lives. In this regard, many experts call the Nile crocodile the most dangerous. It's not the largest, but ranks second in terms of size. We'll talk about the leader later. But despite this, its size is more than enough to kill absolutely anyone. These monsters grow up to 18 feet in length and weigh about 1,650 pounds. This makes them the largest crocodiles in Africa, as well as one of the most dangerous predators in the entire world. It's a first-class predator. The Nile crocodile is able to deal with any animal in Africa. However, it's unlikely to defeat an elephant, even though elephants are sometimes attacked by these monsters from their water ambush. Other large animals such as giraffes, buffaloes, lions, leopards, cheetahs, rhinos, hippos, antelopes, all of them become the prey of these ferocious hunters in one way or another. The same is true for us. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the Nile crocodile lives near many settlements, people often become its victims. About 200 people a year die in the jaws of these monsters. Nile crocodiles act decisively and swiftly. The agile predator uses sensitive receptors to detect the prey and brute force to capture it. Once a creature is in the jaws of a Nile crocodile, it cannot escape unscathed. The force of the Nile crocodile's bite is more powerful than that of most sharks and other animals in general. So in any case, the prey will get at least injuries, but most likely the predator will finish it off. But even among such dangerous crocodiles, there are some particularly dangerous individuals that have become legends. Not in a good way, of course. For example, there's a crocodile called Osama and he wiped out 10% of the population of one settlement in Africa. Sounds shocking, doesn't it? In fact, I'm not talking about the city, but about the village, but still. In his life, Osama killed more than 80 people. That's an insane amount for one animal, whatever it is. But then there's Gustav. This is also a Nile crocodile, and many people call him the most dangerous on the whole planet. This is not surprising when you find out that, according to official data alone, he has at least 300 ruined lives on his conscience. And according to unofficial data, Gustav killed several thousand people. That's true, he is officially the most dangerous animal of all time. What's interesting is that Gustav's killer habits are a consequence of its enormous size. Scientists believe that once he ate the usual prey for his species – fish, antelopes, and so on – but at some point, Gustav became large and changed his diets to hippos and buffaloes. This is one of the few crocodiles that constantly eat such big creatures. As a rule, ordinary Nile crocodiles snack on them very rarely. People, for Gustav, are a kind of a snack. The monster lives in the African country of Burundi, where he seems to be more famous than the president. Everyone knows about him. Everyone's afraid of him. Everyone wants to catch and punish him. But no one can do it. Gustav is elusive, impenetrable, and immortal, and I'm not exaggerating. He's been shot at, but the bullets don't penetrate his thick skin. Traps have been set on him, but he's slipped away. They've tried to blow him up, but even that didn't work. For this reason, Gustav is considered some kind of demigod and mythical creature. Seems that he'll leave this world only of his own free will. Only one crocodile can match the Nile crocodile in terms of incredible danger – the saltwater crocodile also known as the sea crocodile or the salty. It lives in Southeast Asia. Nile and saltwater crocodiles are sort of reptilian analogs of lions and tigers. Think of big cats. One lives in Africa, the other lives in Asia. Both are very dangerous, but the Asian one is bigger and stronger. It's the same here. The saltwater crocodile is larger than the Nile crocodile. It's the largest crocodile on the planet and also the largest land predator. In other words, it's bigger than even a polar bear. These giants regularly grow up to 16 feet long or more 
and record breakers reach a length of 20 feet or more. Besides, these monsters can weigh one, one and a half, or even two tons, and that's something of an anomaly. Moreover, saltwater crocodiles have the most powerful bite among all land animals, and among almost all animals in general. They're second only to killer whales. Residents of Southeast Asia and Australia, where this monster lives, should be extremely careful at any body of water, because unlike the Nile crocodile, the saltwater crocodile is able to swim both in fresh and salt water. In salt water, it even attacks sharks. On land, it attacks any animal it likes. Only tigers can do something against these reptiles. The saltwater giant rushes all the others in no time. Unfortunately, this also applies to humans. According to statistics, the saltwater crocodile is not much inferior to the Nile crocodile in terms of human casualties, and perhaps even surpasses it. It's difficult to calculate for sure, but what can be said for sure is that these monsters are so dangerous that they're captured specifically for national security purposes. That's saying a lot. The most famous operation took place in 2011 in the Philippines. Before that, for some time, a saltwater crocodile had been terrorizing and disturbing local residents. He attacked their livestock, ate buffaloes, and according to some reports, even ate a few people. Everything indicated that this was the deeds of one particular crocodile, and the decision was made to catch it as soon as possible. It was led by a hunter nicknamed Lolong, and the operation itself involved about 100 people. For several weeks, they set traps around the area and carefully tracked the crocodile. Unfortunately, in the process, Lolong died of a heart attack, but his work was successfully completed. A few days later, the crocodile was tracked down, a struggle ensued, he fell into the trap that Lolong had set, and the giant was tied up. But it was too early to rejoice. The giant monster was struggling to break free and four times broke the steel cables with a breaking strength of 12 tons. Imagine what kind of monstrous force one must have to do such a thing. It seemed like he was about to break free and destroy everyone standing around him that day. But fortunately, the crocodile was completely subdued and measured. It was 20.2 feet long and weighed almost 2,425 pounds. The crocodile was named Lolong in memory of the hunter and taken to a crocodile center. He was then recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest saltwater crocodile ever caught alive and kept in captivity. Lolong passed away in 2013 and was made into a stuffed animal that can be seen at the museum. Even a stuffed animal inspires fear, let alone a live crocodile. It's hard to imagine exactly what the people who personally caught this monster were experiencing. But don't think that Lolong was the only such saltwater crocodile. Yes, he was incredibly dangerous and large, but history knows other such crocodiles. And some of them are alive right now. For example, Dominator the Crocodile. If Lolong was a menace for the Philippines, Dominator is the lord of the Adelaide River in Australia. This giant is over 20 feet long and weighs more than a ton. He's not been officially caught or measured, but it's possible that he's larger than even Lolong himself. Dominator fully lives up to its name and actually dominates the Adelaide River. He keeps all its inhabitants in fear and tourists treat him with great respect. Whenever they see Dominator, they make sure to give him something hardy to placate him. Otherwise, Dominator might try to jump into the boat, and no one wants that. Dominator also fights other saltwater crocodiles in the river. He's already defeated and killed many of them, intimidated many of them, but he's not defeated one of his congeners. I'm talking about Brutus, a real Adelaide legend and one of the most dangerous crocodiles on the planet. Brutus is a real fighter and a veteran. Dominator is considered a fairly young crocodile, but Brutus is an old creature. He's about 90 to 95 years old. During his life, he's entered into quite a few fights and won almost all of them. He attacked even large freshwater sharks and dealt with them very cruelly. For this, he was even nicknamed the Boss. It's easy to distinguish Brutus from other crocodiles. He's missing one limb. It's a battle wound. According to one version, Brutus lost it in a fight with a ferocious shark, which he still managed to defeat and eat even with such an injury. Another version says that it was Dominator who bit off his limb in one of their fights. There are a lot of fights between them. 
The legendary and very dangerous crocodiles are fighting for the title of the absolute king of the Adelaide River. So far, they have a draw, but Dominator will win sooner or later, experts believe so. Youth will take its toll, or Brutus will die a natural death. But for now, the boss doesn't give up and continues to keep everyone in fear, including humans. Like Dominator, they feed him regularly, and some of them even come to Australia to see the legendary reptile in person. Happy Bachelor is the name of another legendary and very dangerous saltwater crocodile. In Malay, his name sounds like Bujang Senang. The name comes from a local Malaysian legend. According to it, this crocodile was the spirit of a warrior whom no one could defeat in a fair fight. But once he was betrayed by his own wife, giving him away to his enemies, who killed the warrior from an ambush. After death, the soul of the murdered warrior took the form of a crocodile who began to furiously attack people in revenge for his wife's betrayal. If this is the case, I can say that his revenge was very severe and ferocious. At least 13 people have fallen victim to him over the years, and that's just the official figures. It could have been much worse. In addition, Bujang Senang differed from many saltwater crocodiles with his crazy activity. He attacked very often, though not always successfully, which constantly kept many people in fear. As is the case of Lolong, the crocodile became a big problem and people decided to deal with him. To give you an idea of the scale of the situation, even the local authorities joined in. Bujang Senang is a sort of mix between Lo Long and Gustav. Like Lo Long, there was a huge operation against him, and like Gustav, Bujang was invulnerable. On one occasion, people tried to harpoon Bujang but were unsuccessful. The crocodile simply pulled the harpoon out of his body and disappeared into the water. Another time they tried to blow up the crocodile with dynamite, but it only stunned him and nothing more. The third time snipers worked, but even the bullets didn't take the Malaysian legend down. Finally, one day everything worked. It took two squads to distract the monster, and three people who literally showered the crocodile with a hail of bullets from high-powered rifles. Now the crocodile's skull is kept in a museum, but many people believe that it's not Bujang Senang. They say that such a dangerous and cunning crocodile could not fall for the trap and die of bullet wounds. They believe that the man-eater is still alive today. According to them, he's hiding. But one day, he'll come out to hunt again. I think you all have realized which crocodiles are the most dangerous, biggest, and strongest in the whole world. The saltwater and Nile crocodiles are a huge threat in the animal world. But there's something else dangerous among these toothy creatures. I'm talking about the mugger, also known as the marsh crocodile. It's native to Hindustan. As if this region didn't have enough other dangerous creatures like Bengal tigers or a bunch of venomous snakes. The mugger is not as huge as the saltwater crocodile, but it's not small either. Marsh crocodiles grow up to 11 feet in length and weigh up to 440 pounds. But there are abnormal exceptions. Males of the species can sometimes grow to 16 to 20 feet in length with a mass of 660 to 1,500 pounds, although individuals which are over 10 feet long are very rare at the moment. Such size makes the mugger very mobile. In terms of speed, it's ahead of its relatives from Africa and Southeast Asia. This reptile perfectly moves on the ground, swims quickly in the water, and makes lightning-fast lunges. If the victim stands near the mugger and the one doesn't move, it doesn't mean that the crocodile is slow. It takes only a split second for it to turn around abruptly and grab onto its prey with a frantic grip. In this, it's helped by incredible teeth, which are up to two inches long, as well as incredible jaw strength. With such a set and impressive size, the mugger easily deals with monitor lizards, turtles, monkeys, dogs, and otters. It also forcibly takes food from other local predators such as leopards. Of course, muggers are also dangerous to humans. A mugger subspecies, called the Kimbula, which lives in Sri Lanka, is called particularly dangerous in this regard. This is a particularly aggressive and dangerous subspecies, which attacks people much more often than ordinary muggers. In addition, it's adapted a bit to the seawater. You can sometimes come across it in lagoons with saltwater. 
The creepy thing is that the Kimbula makes up the majority of the entire population of muggers, which makes these crocodiles even more dangerous. And lastly, I'll calm you down a little after all these terrible stories. Nature decided to take pity on us at least a little, so it created an unusual crocodile. It's unusual in everything, from appearance to behavior, because unlike most of its toothy relatives, it doesn't attack people and it's almost completely safe for us. This is a neighbor of the mugger called a gharial. It's very easy to distinguish it from other crocodiles. It has a very narrow jaw, which makes it look as if a saw was inserted into the crocodile's head. It looks scarier than a typical crocodile jaw, but despite this, the gharial is really not dangerous. Not really. Actually, it can pounce and even bite, but if a person themselves anger it. For example, if they decide to pet it or stay near it for too long. As for the rest, gharials do not pose a threat. Besides, these unusual toothy creatures are sacred animals in Nepal and India. Let's talk in more detail about the features and abilities of crocodiles. Crocodiles are willing to do a lot to get food. Some of their abilities are even hard to believe. For example, watch this crocodile jumping out of the water and trying to get meat. Just imagine how powerful a tail crocodiles have since they can reach so high upright. And this saltwater crocodile hunts in a more familiar way. It swims up to the tourists in a boat and blocks their way to shore. It's asking for some sort of toll, and the best payment for the saltwater predator is meat. At one point, it lifted itself up and was almost level with the tourists. If someone had stuck their hand out, they would have been in trouble. In the end, the crocodile got its coveted piece of meat and immediately calmed down. Usually, everyone tries to stay away from toothy reptiles, but not animal trainers. Watch as this man rides a large alligator. Besides, he hustle teases it with meat. The crocodile twitches, tries to get its food, and a couple of times almost grabs the man with its teeth. But everything's under control here. They have it all worked out. The alligator got its meat. By the way, if you're wondering how that trainer got on the alligator's back in the first place, it looks something like this. Already, another animal trainer is luring the crocodile out of the water. He gives it some food, and while the predator is eating, the man sits on its tail. And it's not just sit round. When the crocodile finished its meal, it started riding the man on itself. This was all happening, by the way, in Australia. Now you know what kind of cowboys there are, or more precisely, crocoboys. And this is some kind of death-defying act. No sit round on the crocodile's back, just hardcore and direct contact. The animal trainer looks the crocodile in the eyes, leans closer and closer to it, and kisses the crocodile. How do you think the crocodile will react to this gesture of attention? Will it pounce on the guy and eat him? Of course not. There's real love and trust here, so no accidents. But who knows these crocodiles? We've seen them pounce on their own trainers. Crocodiles attack all kinds of animals in Africa. They're not even afraid of elephants. In this footage, the elephant went too deep into the river, and a crocodile got on its tail, literally. The reptile sunk its teeth into the elephant's tail, and the giant had to spin on the spot, trying to shake off the toothy menace. The patience of an elephant can be envied. It dragged the crocodile a few meters and, closer to the land, calmly shook it off, like some kind of bug and not an extremely dangerous predator. I think you've all had the experience of walking or running, not looking ahead, and bumping into something. For some people, that something might be a pole, but for others, it might be an alligator. This runner broke the record for inattention. He was looking down so hard that he almost stepped on the alligator. Both ended up getting scared, and it seems the alligator got even more scared. At least the road is now free of all kinds of dangerous predators. I told you earlier today how good crocodiles are in terms of stealth. One cannot notice them literally under their nose when they're in the water. And this applies not only to the attacks of these predators. For example, here's a guy talking about how he and his girlfriend were spending time on these logs by the water when they spotted a saltwater crocodile in the water completely by accident. Look at that cool camouflage. Yes, the predator doesn't completely blend in with the bottom, but it wouldn't have been easy for you to spot it out of the corner of your eye. It's creepy to imagine what would happen if someone decided to dive in this spot. After all, such a scenario is quite possible. 
you get the feeling that you can find crocodiles literally anywhere in Australia. You might ask me, you can find them even on the roads? Of course. Watch as this crocodile created a micro traffic jam of two cars. Drivers had to wait a bit for the predator to get across the road and dive to the other side. It happens in India too. Check out the crocodile climbing up the river over the rapids. This predator is much faster than that leisurely toothy creature, which makes it look creepy. Imagine what it would be like to run into such a monster while just driving down a road near a river. Lastly, let's take a look at the encounter between the man and the crocodile underwater. It was as if the reptile was waiting for this man on purpose and swam up to him when he was in its habitat. I don't know what happened next, so I suggest you figure it out for yourself. An epic giraffe showdown, an amazing Oscar-worthy lizard, an incredible will to live, and more. Next, you'll see some epic animal fights. Jaguar vs. Otter You all know the first animal very well. Everyone's heard about this amazing, beautiful cat that lives in South America. It can be distinguished from the others by the spotted pattern, which is unique to each individual. It's something like the fingerprints of humans. The jaguar can weigh up to 350 pounds. These cats are excellent swimmers, divers, and have a very strong grip. It would seem that the poor otter, which was lying on the shore unsuspecting, had no chance of survival, especially when you consider how the fight began. But then, somehow magically, the otter escaped the clutches of the nimble jaguar and quickly ran for it, hiding under the water. Either out of resentment for the failed hunt or out of fear of other otters in the water, the jaguar didn't dare dive for them. You bet, even if it had jumped, I don't think there was much of a chance of catching with them. Otters feel like fish in the water. They even almost always have the entrance to their own hole underwater. Anyway, hit the like button for the trick ending. Often you can see how lions, cougars, crocodiles, and other predators fight. It's natural and everyone has seen such fights many times. But have you ever imagined a giraffe fighting? It's a multi-meter tall creature that seems as harmless and cute as possible. Okay, I'll now show you a fight between a giraffe and another animal, but here's a video with a clash between two members of this family. If you didn't know, adult male giraffes often fight for dominance. Such fights look very impressive. Males swing their necks and try to hit each other with their horn-like ossicones. The male that wins the duel gets an opportunity to mate with more females. In fact, that's exactly what's happening in the video. If you know any other features of this animal, like the fact that it can run up to 37 miles per hour, then it will not be difficult to guess the power of their neck blows. Believe me, the enemy of the giraffe will not be good. Did you know that if a lion accidentally encounters a cheetah, it always attacks it? Escape is the only means of escape for the cheetah, because there's no way it can stand up to lions in strength. Given this fact, the confrontation between the zebra and the lion looks absolutely trifling. The footage shows the lion for some time watching a dozen zebras, which went about their business. At one moment, the predator decided to attack the weakest zebra, accelerated and caught up with it. This animal speed reaches up to 50 miles per hour, so the first stage of the plan was not a problem for it. The lion grabbed the zebra, but in the course of the battle, it found itself underneath it. Nevertheless, the predator controlled the entire situation and didn't let the striped beast out of its sharp claws, which can reach three inches in length. You can see the zebra's congeners that ran away with it from the lion, now standing very close and watching from the sidelines. Hit the like button if you've never understood why animals can't help their congeners. What chance would the lion have if all those zebras pounced on it altogether? As it turned out, no help was needed. The hapless zebra was able to put off the lion's guard and escape from its clutches in an instant, remaining unharmed. As everyone knows, scientists still probably don't know why zebras are black and white, so maybe it's because every time their failure is replaced by something bright and a run of good luck comes. Judging by this video, such a theory happens to be. Impala tries to escape from crocodile. The impala is a slender, beautiful animal of medium size. Its fur is smooth and shiny, and on the hind legs, right above the heel of the hoof, there's a bunch of coarse black hair. That's why impalas are called black-footed antelopes. Listening to this description, one cannot believe that such a fragile animal can cope with the onslaught of a bloodthirsty crocodile lurking in the pond and catching the impala in its teeth. That's exactly what happened in this eyewitness's video. The impala struggled for several minutes to get away, it tried to do it with jerks and then with a technique of slow escape, but none of the attempts were successful. 
In the end, the Impala dragged the crocodile almost to the shore of the fatal body of water and, after putting off its guard, finally got out of the water with a few quick jerks. Luck was clearly on its side that day, thought the people behind the camera and the other animals watching from the sidelines. But then something happened that clearly no one expected. A leopard jumped out of the bushes at the speed of light and rushed after its prey. Of course, the Impala had little chance of escape. It had already spent all its energy trying to get away from the crocodile. And here came a fresh leopard. The conjectures were confirmed, and in a few minutes, the same people with the camera saw the picture of the self-satisfied spotted animal walking along the hill, holding the Impala's neck with its teeth. This lizard deserves an Oscar. Why I think so? Well, you'll find it out at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's start with the events shortly before the finale. The lizard's engaged in the only and most important task, guarding the eggs. Babies should be born very soon, so it's important to be extremely careful and attentive. Therefore, as soon as an unfriendly snake appeared on the horizon, the lizard set out to solve the issues. A fight ensued between them, in which the crawling animal was able to understand it was unlikely to defeat the lizard. A few hours later, the situation repeated itself, but now in front of the reptiles was already a dangerous snake, which could easily overpower the lizard. Realizing that it had little chance in an equal fight, the lizard turned so as to appear larger and more dangerous to the snake. And when it crawled to the other side, the lizard fell on its back, pretending to be dead. Of course, the snake understood nothing at all. It was puzzled by how such a seemingly large animal fell to the ground unconscious after a couple of moments. With these thoughts, the reptile crawled on, leaving both the lizard and its offspring alone. By the way, a few months after these events, the lizard had its first baby. It was its reward for such good protection of its offspring. It's never enough for the crocodile. The reptile decided to attack the poor turtle, which is several times smaller than it. But the predator didn't take into account one small but important point. The turtle that was chosen for the role of a ninja for a reason. It has a very tough shell, which is incredibly strong. With it, the animal is able to withstand loads 200 times its own weight. In the end, our friend with the shell got out of the predator's jaws and galloped peacefully toward the water, and the aggressor didn't even try to catch up with it and try its luck again. What a luck. Oh my God. That's what I'd say about tourists who were lucky enough to be in the right place and at the right time during their trip. The people watched a leopard for some time as it prepared for something. Knowing that this animal would never do anything for no reason at all, they turned off their car and started watching. The wait paid off. In a matter of seconds, a huge python appeared in the camera's field of vision, confusing not only the spectators but also the leopard itself. At the beginning of the battle, it seemed that the snake had the upper hand and the spotted predator had no chance of survival. But this was only the first and wrong opinion. In fact, the big cat was breaking free of the snake's choking holds, bouncing back like in a computer game and followed its own way, continuing the offensive. In the end, the battle ended successfully for it. Although there were many wounds on the leopard's skin, it won and was able to eat the snake. By the way, don't think that the python is an easy prey. For these snakes, it's quite normal to eat a crocodile. Therefore, even the leopard will not be an unrealistic prey for pythons. Life Instinct These are words to describe what's happening in this video on the part of the roan antelope. For those who don't know, the roan antelope is a resident of Africa. Weighing around 660 pounds and measuring around 5.2 feet in height, it's considered to be the second largest antelope in the world after the common eland. Nevertheless, the cunning and agile lions have found a way to get to this animal as well. The predators attacked the creature in pair and did not let it breathe easy for some time. From the outside, it looked as if the antelope had not even the tiniest chance of escape. But despite the slim chances, the roan antelope still managed to find a moment to get out of the vicious circle. It got up and hobbled as best it could away from the lions. However, as it turned out, this was only a tactical retreat on the part of the predators. They waited a few minutes and attacked again. This time it was unsuccessful and the antelope again had a few minutes to rest. Now, however, its injuries were much more serious. The animal couldn't move normally. It had to literally walk on its knees and elbows. There can be no question of any normal speed, leaving the place of battle and hiding from the lions. So it's not surprising that they were able to find the antelope hiding behind the trees. The average weight of this animal is somewhere around 485 pounds. Imagine what a hearty dinner is waiting for the two lions. That's all, guys. What fight impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.